24 Sussex Drive is the residence of Canada's Prime Minister. And the location for this Monday report, special report, inside 24 Sussex, or inside the 2-4. A hard-hitting interview and a play date with the PM. Hmm, nothing in there. I thought maybe there was something in there. This is the guest book. David Miller, Mayor of Toronto, was here. Looks like Joni Mitchell. Oh, look. Stephen Harper and all his friends. This is the Prime Minister's living room, I guess. Living room. David Suzuki book. That's very interesting. The dining room. Yes, you can tell it's a dining room because it has the A.Y. Jackson. My God, it's a Picasso. Look at that. And this is a clock formerly belonged to Sir John A. Macdonald. And this belonged to Louis Saint Laurent. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. Hey, what is the uh, Prime Minister having for supper? Tonight he's having some scallops and a little bit of uh, butternut squash flan. Where are the scallops from? PI. Okay, East Coast scallops. East Coast scallops. Okay. May I have one of the Prime Absolutely. Minister's cookies? Yeah. Thank you. May I have two, please? Yeah. Because. Don, the cameraman, is very hungry, so I'll, I'll put one in Don's pocket as well. That's for later. Prime Ministers don't like to renovate because they don't want to be accused of spending taxpayers' money, so I'm guessing that Mila picked up the carpet. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for having me. Well, it's good to have you. Thanks very much. This is great, and it's a very nice house. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Now, do you like being Prime Minister? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Now, um, the people who ran your campaign, how many have you fired? <laughs> None. None? None. They're still, are they working for you still? They're not running the country, are they? Well, you know, some of them are in the office, and some of them have gone and they're doing different things. They returned to the private sector. Returned to the private sector. So, now that you're Prime Minister, wh what are you going to do? Exactly what I ran on. We've done the health care, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to continue at health care. Early learning, childhood development is really important. And then really helping our cities and helping our small and rural communities. Those are the things I ran on, and that's really what I want to get done. So you got the three-pronged approach. You got it. I didn't notice the pool. Yeah, it's off to the side. That's the one Trudeau built, right? That's the one. Do you use it? Yeah. Can I see it? Um... I'm wearing the Prime Minister's shorts. Keep them. You'll probably stretch the waist. How long can this government last? Uh, well, I think that uh, minority governments can last a long time. Well, I mean, Joe Clark lasted, what, nine months? Bill Davis lasted seven years. Oh, really? In, in Ontario. Oh, seven yeah. years? Sure. Are well, you allowed to go was seven a, years? No, there was an election in between. Oh. But the fact is that they were continuous minority governments. Right. Now, the flu vaccine. Any drugs coming in from Canada could kill you, Bush said. And then in the second debate, he started saying, we're looking to Canada for flu vaccine. Now you've announced, how, much, how many flu vaccines are we sending? We're, we, are, well, we will send whatever flu vaccine we have that is extraneous to our own needs. We're looking to our own needs first. But it's like a million vaccines yeah. or something, right? Well, let, let's, let's find out. Have we tied this to beef? No. <laughs> Couldn't you say you want the flu vaccine, maybe you might want to take some beef? Well, I, I, I tell you, we, we, we certainly said, if you don't take our beef, yeah. we're going to process the beef here and we're going to go after your foreign markets. And, we're gonna, and we are going to establish a beef industry here in sort of processing that when the market ultimately opens, they're going to wish that we hadn't. Have you ever had to get like a world leader on the phone like that? Yeah. And you can do that as Prime Minister? Uh, like you can get Tony yeah. Blair on the phone? Yeah, probably. Yes. That's pretty cool. You want to talk to him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you can Why do you call him and I can say, listen, Tony, there's this guy and he won't leave <laughs> until he talks to you. <laughs> <laughs> he might believe you. Yeah. Because they have problems like that, too. People are always wandering in. Now, I noticed there's pumpkins. Are you going to carve the pumpkins? Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do, eventually. Long time. Because on my street, I have the best pumpkin. You do? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to get to it, you know, sometime. I can't believe I'm carving pumpkins with the Prime Minister. This is great. It's like a play date. Look, I'm, I'm delighted to have you, but you're not going to stay. It's a week till Halloween. You're not going to stay the whole time, are you? You have, must have lo loads of guest rooms up there, do you? 
How many, how many can you sleep? Well, I, I'm sorry, but there, there, there are a lot of guest rooms. But every single one of them is full. <laughs> I don't know how it all of a sudden happened. You know something? Making teeth is hard. It is. Chins are even more difficult. There's mine. Pretty good, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> Yours is much more frightening. <laughs>